hello everyone how are you welcome to another videos for mrcs exam and this is the question and answer session so first of all read the question so here the question a 43 years old woman is due to undergo an axillary node clearance following a positive sentinel node biopsy which of the nerve below is at greater risk so here we can see during the axillary node clearance of mastectomy following a positive sentinel biopsy which of the following nerve is greatest risk so here are the options the options are accessory nerve thoracodorsal nerve upper trunk of the brachial plexus medial pectoral and axillary so we have to find out one of the nerve which is usually greater risk uh, greater risk during the axillary node clearance of mastectomy procedure or following mastectomy procedure during the axillary node clearance so here we can see the this is the mastectomy procedure in which usually the breast removes and the axillary limb node level 1 level 2 and level 3 usually removed and this limb node level usually labeled by the pectoralis minor muscle medial to the pectoralis minor this is level 3 or above the pectoralis minor here the level 3 and level of the pectoralis minor it is level 1 and below the pectoralis minor it is level 1 so level 1 level 2 level 3 level 2 usually at the level of the pectoralis minor and below this this is the level 1 and above the pectoralis minor there is the level 3 here we can see different type of limb nodes and the level and during the mastectomy procedure the breast tissue is removed and axillary limb node usually removed or after positive sentinel biopsy axillary clearance done. so now we have to find out the nerve which may be injured during the mastectomy procedure or during this limb node removal procedure so here we can see here usually the breast and we can see two important nerve going just lateral to the breast one is the thoracodorsal nerve and another one is the long thoracic nerve so the thoracodorsal nerve and long thoracic nerve it may be injured but here we can see uh, two other uh, nerves such as pectoralis uh, medial pectoral nerve and lateral pectoral nerve as they are very close to the pectoralis minor uh, minor or in close the pectoralis minor so you, they usually not injured during this procedure but the thoracodorsal nerve and long thoracic nerve as they have the long course so the any of the pathway of its course it may be damaged or injured in this picture here we can see the another nerve which may be injured during the breast surgery or axillary node clearance this is the intercostal brachial nerve here we can see this is this is the intercostal brachial nerve so intercostal brachial nerve thoracodorsal nerve and long thoracic nerve these three nerves may be injured during the axillary node clearance so here we can see this is the thoracodorsal nerve it is present here it is one of the three nerve which may be uh, injured during the axillary node clearance this is the thoracodorsal nerve and it is one of the frequently asked uh, question during the MRCS exam procedure and here uh, during the uh, axillary node clearance or during the modified radical mastectomy these three important nerve may be damaged one is the long thoracic nerve second one thoracodorsal nerve and third one is the intercostal brachial nerve so these three nerve have to be remember very clearly so in the uh, long thoracic nerve thoracodorsal nerve intercostal brachial nerve this three nerve is very very important because it may be damaged during this procedure and in the question uh, one of the three option may be present but usually uh, usually one option present such as uh, if intercostal brachial is uh, intercostal brachial nerve uh, or, um, present in the option the other two will not be present in this option like this